And we are back. As for the fuckers here, as obvious. Uh, getting in to chapter four. Uh, still with Fat Fuck and Just a Fuck. Yeah. No special guests this time around. They had to leave. So, uh, onward, inward, upward, outward, forward. <laughs> onward, with upward, away. another entertaining Let's Play. Yes. Yep. Uh, next unit in two days, the Shakespeare class. He is not looking forward to it. Mm. It's last minute, but I threw out the whole lesson plan. Uh, supposed to be teaching Romeo and Juliet. Decided to not do that. Not going to be up for a study that ends in suicide. Uh, Tyler was playing for something a little more lighthearted than that. Let's see what he goes with. Oh, okay. A whole lot of, of, love. Lot of love. So this one's going to be about, uh, who's that, Charlotte? Is that not who that was just on that picture? Yeah. Yes. Charlotte. Yes, it was. Let's do some, some, uh, what do you think this could be about? You know, Charlotte? Charlotte? What's been her role? Well, so far she's been the quiet girl. Yeah. But she's just interested in people, so. I mean, yeah, knowing no, that uh, this is a very gay overtone, yeah, she thinks she falls for, who? who's it, Kendall? Well, she was already with Kendall. She yeah. was already with Kendall. Yeah, and she broke up with Kendall. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. She was one who ended that, so I don't think that bridge is coming back. No. Um, so the possible act of uh, building these bridges must fit. Well, let's, burn. we have a, <laughs> yeah, yeah, really. we have a, uh, a notification, let's check that first. Indeed. Talking about the lunch, okay, so it's just continuing from where I left off last time. KK. Hope you learned at least a little bit. Uh, I certainly did. I'd like you to know that the syllabus has been updated. We're going to be doing Twelfth Night next, not Romeo and Juliet. Good. I'll have a copy of it already, but your homework for tonight is not read the script. Don't read it at all, don't look at it. It's terrible. <laughs> uh, we're going to be watching the movie version because I'm a lazy asshole, and uh, I'm trying to take on too much work for my lazy asshole to crap out at once. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, Why did he pick Shakespeare anyway? Well, no, I'm, I'm sure... He's a fucking literature teacher no, 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 at a high no, school. No, He's got to no, pick no, Shakespeare. No. It's okay. required. It said, it said right. earlier in the syllabus that it was required that there uh, has to be a Shakespeare unit because, you know, so everyone should suck Shakespeare's dick despite him being worthless. Uh, at least he uh, straight away from the ultra-cliché Romeo and Juliet. Well, they he probably to, wouldn't have unless he tried. killed themselves. Yeah, he wouldn't well, have. Well, because the lazy teacher is not going to question the curriculum that he's given as a new guy. You're yeah. right. But thank God he's not doing handling. Handling sucks. Oh, dick. man. It's probably the worst thing. That King Lear and I did, really just the whole list. I'm, we're, Fuck, we're, it. Fuck it. Let's save ourselves all the, the pain of going through why Shakespeare is terrible. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, that was painful. Because yeah. that's a painful argument in and of itself. Uh, no one likes it, though, so he can suck my dick. Um, let's see. <laughs> hey! Wait, why are we doing Romeo and Juliet? Is it because of Isabella? Holy shit, Akira, uh, on the yeah. level here. He's getting it. He's he falling. Uh, not getting cut off, so he's not starting to, uh, he's no longer sucking his job as much. It's a good yes. start. You can all go for lunch a couple minutes early. You can all go Great. for lunch. <laughs> he was the cool teacher. Yep. Yeah, there's a lot of climbers. Everyone leaves the class for once, same as always, and same as always, there are students staying behind. But lately, it's, it's been, been less, less than before. Well, I wonder why. It's because one of them killed us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Har har. That's how boring Mr. Rook was. She was bored to death. Bored. <laughs> yeah, this is a girl never told how she committed suicide. Uh, we assume she jumped off a roof. Uh, I think that would explain what uh, the cheerleaders were doing outside cheering, if you remember that. How he, he mentioned yeah. all handling. Like, I heard some cheers, like some, some yells in unison. Jump, jump, um, jump, jump, yeah, jump, yeah, jump, yeah. jump, jump. They were cheerleaders, yeah. and I'm a very macabre sort. <laughs> there was a do a flip if you're listening. It was like <laughs> <laughs> an alternate universe cheerleading a suicidal teenager along. Yeah, definitely. High school. Cheerleaders, man. If you never, you know, someone's jumped off the roof every week. <laughs> <laughs> At uh, least in my high school. Yeah, mine too. I mean, public school. So we can do yeah. I, had a, I went to a private high school. We, we witnessed at least 10 or 12. I jumped off. Uh, group suicides. I jumped off the roof. Am I only 10 or 12 out of 180 days? That's like one less than one. Yeah, but I've been here for four years. Oh, oh four years. Okay. Yeah. All right, fair enough. That's still a terribly small number. Not enough population going on. Yeah, we only it's had like 100 schools. students, so it was like 10% of our student body that killed yeah. themselves by jumping off the roof. And the other, like, 90% was pregnant, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I believe so. Anyway, let's There's even a few guys that got pregnant. Yeah, I mean, huh. that's any school, though, for you. That's Lutheran High School. Oh, that's that's Christian School there. Christian, good old learning. Immaculate conception. 
<laughs> All right, so let's see what Kendall has to say. Hey, sis, I can't stick around today. Miss Mighton wants to see me, like, now for some stupid reason. See you later, okay? Okay. Of course, it's not a problem. Good luck with her. Yeah, I'll need it. Later. Laters. I guess it's just us to hold her saucy. Blow your classroom. Yeah. Yeah. That's what he said. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take out my own one. Start to hear wisely. Charlotte does the same. An awkward silence hangs in the air, though. We got a point. So. Yes. Um. And I can tell she wants to say something, but can't bring herself to. While we wait for Charlotte to gather her senses, we're going to check our messages. The awkwardness is just too strong. Uh, let's see what Taylor has to bitch about. Something terrible. No one, I'd like to apologize for treating you so poorly earlier. It's just that things have been really tough, rough for me, and I took that out on you. Sorry, I was a jerk. I really want to be on good terms with you again. Can we talk about it, please? I really want to put this behind us and be friends again. Okay. Not right now, though. I'm with Akira. We can talk later. Pooping on her. With Akira. Mm -hmm. The homos. Alright, so what do you have to say? I was 12th night. You're fucking... I guess it depends on whether or not you like Shakespeare. Yeah, kind of. He's not as bad as everyone says, anyway. Okay, yes, well, he is. You are... You're smiling. Which means that you are uh, enjoying your pretentiousness here. Uh, well, I think you'll probably find it very funny. It is funny, but not in any way that wasn't funny. Can I get the third uh, More silence. It's obviously not what you really want to ask. As we wait for uh, Charlotte to make up her fucking mind, our message. Taylor. Of course, oh, you should God. put him over me. That's, That's all right. right. I'm really glad you're happy with it, by the way. I was so worried because I know you're not gay, but I'm glad you're able to make him happy in spite of that. It can't be easy. That's very brave of you, Taylor. I, you're hitting new words here. You pulled out the shovel. Uh, oh, you, can tell, you can just tell with that. She's just so spiteful. Mm -hmm. She's just great. It's but, just this false, like, pretense of... Politeness. Yeah, like cordialness that she's having via Facebook, and it's just awful. It's you can tell it's it's shallow. It it's makes me shit. Yeah. Have I mentioned before that this game sucks? No, this game doesn't suck. Just the characters suck, and, just, and the writing sucks. And the actual music right. music's okay. The music is not anything special. It's it's not anything special. But it's not bad. It you know it fits the purpose. It's unobtrusive right. and it's there. It is elevator music, but I mean you know you're not supposed to listen. What to I want to know is when is John gonna get fired? So I want it to just happen. <laughs> I want to have it happen. Maybe if we make the wrong decision, it'll just happen. We gotta wait for game. chapter 86. God. How many chapters do you know are in this game? 86. Really? I have no idea. Okay. Honestly, I'm just nervous. Yeah. Well, we'll find out, I guess. Alright, she wants to say some shit in person. We'll uh, probably get an uh, earful of that later from somebody. I can't do this anymore. Can't take it. Cannot take it. I'm just gonna ask. Is there something wrong, Charlotte? That's what you No, 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 I'm fine. Is something wrong? Oh my god, not fine. Not fine. Not infected, prove it. I give her a look. It's just, this is a weird question, Mr. Rook, but do you think she was telling the truth? Alright, let's uh, go ahead and get our shit straight here. You don't tell us who the hell she is, so maybe. There's our answer, maybe. <laughs> she. Yep. Who? Yep. Who? Yep. Oh, Kendall. Her, her, her. She said she was going to talk to a teacher, but do you think maybe she was just lying so she could avoid me? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Let's do that. Alright, let's not talk now. Goes ahead and talks, by the way. <laughs> Classic. Uh, Classic Taylor. I'm taken aback by the question. I don't think so, of course, but why would she think that? Why do you ask that? Don't you see why she would do that? I don't know. But even now that we're talking again, she always seems so... Reluctant to really talk with me. It's a day then. I bet it is. Uh, I bet it is. We never really say anything of value. It always seems like she's comfortable being with me. And it's not like she's talking to me any either. I guess that's true. Now that she mentioned it, although I don't think her understanding is quite right. Well, as much as anyone can understand, Ken. I don't think she actually understands me anymore. I feel like I should just 
talk to her until she has to make excuses. Would you really do that? No, because I'm selfish. Selfish? She stops. As if only now she's realized what she's been saying. As if only now she really realizes how emotionally vulnerable she clearly is. I promise not to repeat a word of this, Mr. Cook. Of course not. I. But she still has trouble coming up with the words. I. Were, were you aware that we used to be a couple? We only broke up a few weeks ago. Well. well. I had to stop myself from saying, of course. I had to give it a moment's thought. I knew it, of course, but how did I know it? Because you have the fucking secret spot. <laughs> it was, okay, I, how did you know it? You have these but secrets. how did I know it? Faux introspective questions, and you know exactly how you know it. Well, he knows, but he's posing the question to her in his own mind. How did I know it? That's even more pseudo-intellectual. Well, pseudo-intellectual of her asking the question to him, simulation in his own brain. Say you knew. Say you knew. Say it, say it, say it. I think so. Say I think we say we knew. Well, she asked might as well. Yeah, yeah like it was. Say we knew. Intuition. The teacher's intuition. It's a little yeah. hard not to know, isn't it? Yeah. Have you ever had a perfect thing before, Mr. Rook, and ruined it? Man, what a question. <laughs> More than once, actually. I'd love to say it gets easier, but it doesn't. Once you're an asshole and terrible, you are always an asshole. And there's no changing. No, I'd imagine not. You wouldn't have to imagine you're in the same shoes. Still, I miss everything about the way things were. Kendall is just so perfect. Are you still in love with her? I don't know. How can you tell when you're in love? Is it just like all the songs or all the movies? If it was not like that, does it mean I'm not in love? That's a presumptive question. We didn't cover the other side of that. Tough questions. Presumptive questions. Yeah, not tough. Yeah, tell me about it. The made that crazy when we talk about it already. Mm -hmm. All I know is that I can't bring myself to give up on her, even though she's clearly not interested in me anymore. Maybe that's how you know it's love, because it makes me hang off. Okay, so now we clearly know that this chapter is going to be about Charlotte and Kendall's relationship. Yeah, most it, certainly. Yeah. That's, that's uh, got to be the meat and potatoes of this meal. <laughs> so, what kind of meat? I really want. I mean, the, the, the potatoes are twice baked, that's for sure. Well, I would say with Kendall, it's got, no, it's got to be pork, because she's a ham. Oh, that's <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, you got a triple pig sandwich on that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, it's going to be no kind of pork with that attitude, so. <laughs> yeah, no. Can you say it's pork in your first No. I don't know man. if that uh, uh, I don't know. Wouldn't what it be know? like a, like a Burger King fish sandwich or something like that? <laughs> Double fish. The double fish? Okay, yeah. so that was. I've had to make a couple double fishes. Double fish. Double fish is a classic order. I got double fish the other day. It was great. <laughs> well, regardless, Charlotte and uh, Kendall's Royce said it was going to be the meat curtains and potatoes in this episode. Meat curtains. Okay. <laughs> uh, give it one thoughtful pause. She's wrong, of course. She seems unusually dense, too. I can tell that Kendall wouldn't be friendly just for the sake of appearance. Double she fished and piston. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Kendall's not that kind of bitch. Um, I think anyone could tell that. I uh, maybe. What she sees in her, I have no idea, and I don't. <laughs> not a fan of Kendall. Yeah, hadn't noticed that that he really hated her that much. Um, I don't want to play either matchmaker or cheerleader for teenage girls. So I'm playing cheerleader. Yeah, I'm up with both. Fuck it, I don't want to. This is the game, so let's do it. But I don't get how she could be so wrong. Why not just ask if she wants to get back together? She seems stunned at the proposition. I don't think you understand, Mr. Rook. I was the one who broke up with uh, her. If anyone has to make the move, it's, it's her. It's out of my hands. Well, what's the harm in trying? What's the worst that could happen? I could lose her. I could cause her to just finally stop even trying to put up with me at all. I can hear yeah. Takes a long, deep sigh, <sighs> trying her hardest to calm herself back down. I feel bad for getting her so worked up. I guess that wasn't the right approach for her at all. Damn it! Damn it! I don't want to lose her. You've already said that. Yeah. Well, well I'm pausing concerning my approach. You said you weren't sure what love feels like, right? 
That's correct. Well, in my experience, it means you know it's worth the risk. Love means you'll try anyway, even if you know for absolute certain you'll get shot down like a fucking... Bitch. Yeah, like a bitch. Get, you know, get shot in the face like <laughs> fucking uh, John McCain at a duck hunt. Yeah. <laughs> John McCain, huh? Yep, John McCain. John McCain was shot in the face? No, no he, does the, he does the shooting in the face, but the aim is so bad. I think you are talking about Dick Cheney. Dick Cheney. No, Dick Cheney did shoot. I think it was uh, Sarah Palin. Sarah yeah. Palin does shoot things as well, but not time. in the face. She shot, no, she, she I shot heard. Russia in the face. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, she yeah, 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 yeah. She stood in her backyard and she shot the Prime Minister of Russia in the face. Vladimir from her Putin. backyard. <laughs> Vladimir Putin. Or was it Rasputin? I'm not sure. The names I, are so similar. It was definitely Rasputin. Okay. And he didn't die, though. No way. He did not. He took that bullet <laughs> in the face like a boss. And laughed. Yeah. And then drank. Yeah. He... he Rumor has it he drank two handles to himself that night because... And didn't in celebration. In celebration of yeah, well, shitting on Sarah I mean, Payton. he did get married to yep. Gorgo Badello because they are gays <laughs> and they are communists. And all communists are gays. Yep. And so you have to have substance abuse and homosexuality in your communist society, which is clearly godless and lawless. Yeah, okay. That's why I don't want to... So that was Rasputin. So it was definitely Vladimir Putin that married York, right? Um, no, because, well, it was, but it oh, was, uh, it was Bono. a green car marriage. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's the movie was made. Bono on. had the mail order bride. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. He, he had that mail order bride, but it was actually not a female. Yeah, it was just a <laughs> Have you seen that picture on the internet of Bono's uh, prolapsed colon? No. Oh, it's good. You should check it out. That's, uh, Is that the one with or without the, uh, arm, like, shoulder knee? Uh, it's after it was removed. Uh, oh, okay, so you were like... That was yeah, when the prolapse uh, okay. took place. Okay. Yeah, because that's you have to. Yeah. In all my experience, that's what it seems that love is really all about. So I think that's what it comes down to. Are you still in love with her? She's silent. <laughs> and I can't tell if she's contemplating the question or just thinks that I'm crazy. She's <laughs> probably a little of both. Yes, indeed. She looks down, and there's a long silence. Neither neither says a word. Neither of says a word. Neither of. Neither of says, says a word. word. Nice to meet Great you. Great job. <laughs> I don't know what to say. After what feels like the longest time without saying anything, Kendall returns. <laughs> yep. Sorry, bro. Am I interrupting anything? You have immaculate timing. Yeah. Charlotte takes a moment to calm down. No, not at all. We were just talking about the thing we're going to say. Oh, balls already? For real? I'm afraid so. It's time to get to class. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Avo. God damn it. She starts to leave just as soon as she came, and Charlie starts packing up, too. Hey, uh, Pack Charlie. Packing fudge, I hope. Of course. Yes, Mr. Rook? That one in dildo. I, then I try to think of what to tell her. Tell her... I think we gotta tell her that Kendall's interested. Yeah, no, Kendall's certainly interested. I believe so. Kendall is, uh... Not one to just be hanging out. No. You know, like, I mean, like the game said, not one to just be hanging out to be a bitch. Mm -hmm. uh, Justo, what do you is your opinion on the matter? Oh, Which man. Just we go tell her just the top one. The top one? Yeah. I vote for top. top. All right. Well, Kendall is the top. Kendall is me? probably the top. Let's be real. Oh, yeah. No, I was not fooling around with that. Of course I do. You're my teacher. I think you should do it. I can promise you that it'll turn out well. With the app, with the most absolute certainty, I can guarantee it. I think you really just asked. How can you be so sure? Yeah, it was a long shot. I definitely can't possibly explain how I know. I couldn't ever. <laughs> you could. you just just trust. trust me. I promise. Great buys. Well, <laughs> thanks, Mr. Rook. She turns and walks off to join Kendall. I lean back. Staring at what's left of my watch, half of it still sitting on my desk. I hope it's like I hope he has a very like single male school teacher style lunch where it's just like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's either a peanut butter and jelly sandwich or it's like a it's like a bologna and cheese sandwich with like tons of mayonnaise. Yeah, yeah. Mayonnaise. Just he just just whopped it on there. like just tons of mayonnaise, five dollars, bologna and cheese, and it's just like nothing else. It's just white bread. Yeah, and yeah. Of white, course, it has to be wonder yeah, white wonder bread. Wonder, mm -hmm. white or, or bread. bread. <laughs> <laughs> Do they even still make that? Probably not. 
I don't know why either. I don't know either. God damn it. You remember that ketchup that came in the tube that was Absolutely. fucking purple? <laughs> that shit was just weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah green ketchup too. Yeah, green ketchup. Purple, green yeah. ketchup. Yeah. What was up with that? Why and why doesn't it exist? Yeah. yeah, I would buy it though. If it costs the same as regular ketchup, I'd buy purple ketchup. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. This is very much like purple ketchup. Yeah, exactly. Well, you can Excuse actually get purple here. ketchup if you make it with purple tomatoes. We're in the home of a good, like well, yeah, any good barbecue. If it's on a barbecue and it's from and it's where we're from, it's the best. So. Yeah, clearly. Uh, gonna say the generalized Midwest area. Yeah. Uh, barbecue Central, and we are in the heart of it. Yeah. And really, if you don't eat barbecue three squares a day. Uh, You're fucking you a are a faggot. Yeah, faggot. I would bitch. say so. We live in uh, Missouri, and we live in a major city there, and it's not St. Louis, and it's not Kansas City, and we, and it's not Kansas City, and it's not Springfield, or nope. St. Joe. It's not. It's not any it's of those. those. It's not even a major city, really. Yeah, but we've so, got good, good barbecue. Fun. Yeah, but it's good. Yes. Yum. Yeah. Uh, Oregon Trail, motherfuckers. And we're, we're good fucking trail. That's so fucking lily. Santa Fe Trail as well. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Russia, Missouri, Missouri history. Uh, California. Let me just say uh, the buck stops here. Yeah, we had some Lewis and Clark shit. We also yeah. uh, produced a person that dropped bombs on Japan. Yeah. Well, he didn't personally do it. Well, he he he, 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 yeah, he ordered that shit. Uh, uh, the buck stops right there. Though. Yeah. Also, the um, our name is America. Uh -huh. The name of our city is America. America. It's not actually called America, but it means America. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we were up in that show me state. A lot of methamphetamine around mm -hmm. these parts. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Crazy for the meth. Not us Hesman is not about that. No. We're yeah. not all about that, getting that ice. Yeah, I mean, I'd power to you if you like your meth. Um, yeah. just, you know. Keep it away from us. Power friends. to you at a very good distance. <laughs> um, a safe distance. It's like a PCP range. Yeah. Uh, we're trying to shoot at here. And yeah. not at us, but at, you know, a, you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, Smart Focus One, I'm sure you've read it by now. Yes. I can only wonder how things will work out, but I sure hope it's well. That evening! Seven. Seven, good God. Give us the night. Ignore it. Night. Oh, well, this is all new. Ah, okay. uh, yes. Hey, Taylor, can I ask you for a favor? Can I get you to cover <laughs> for me again? Of oh, course. Of course. Lol. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You do know your parents never actually do call, though. I don't know what the point there is. I'll do it, though. Though, though, though. Though, though, though. So where are you going? <laughs> I'm feeling crazy depressed. I'm going to drop by my boyfriend's apartment, see if he's willing to keep me company. I just want to be with someone, you know. Calls him... Boyfriend. Uh, boyfriend. Uh, and then, friend. then... I don't know if he thinks that at all. Probably not at all. But then calls him Mr. Rook in person. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, she's just crazy, delusional sixteen-year-old. I'm making girl. like a boob she juggling motion here. Sixteen-year-old girl. Yeah, mm -hmm. she doesn't know. You just want to be with someone, so long as that someone is a hot man or twice your age with badass dyed hair. Major sad face. Major sad face. Major like, sad face like actually was my uh, boss at the ROTC. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, major sad face. Was he the one that was from the Private Joker? Yeah, he was. Okay, so they were a good team then. They uh, they actually signed each other's death warrants, and they were both motherfuckers. Really? <laughs> yes. Well, man, born to kill. Yeah, huh? <laughs> Alright, so, don't be that way. Why the yeah. fuck do you have a peace sign on your hat? Oh, right. Uh, I guess it's about the, uh, you know, the dichotomy between the human natural instincts and uh, the situation I'm thrust in. And so it's kind of a moral dilemma. Oh, I see. That's that's entertaining. Well, I can tell you one thing for sure. We definitely don't serve fried chicken and watermelon in my mess hall. <laughs> and, and I will tell you another thing. Just as a little Snowball. interesting point of fact here. Uh, the easiest way to shoot women and children uh, from a helicopter with a machine gun is to just not leave them quite as much because they can't run as quick. Ah, okay. <laughs> that is pretty good. Well, I bet you could suck the chrome off a trailer hitch, dude. I know I could fucking suck it. I'll fall through a garden hose. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> All right, well, as soon as, as long as we're clear on that, I, I like you a lot. The supreme sucker. I like your dick. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to deal with the moping. Gomer pile. Nope, I'm never done. Well, uh, don't we Romeo? Why is everything is seriously? Yeah, wow, well, for real. For real. <laughs> Work cut out. Regretting it. Don't have enough prepared. 
One ding. Uh, on high school teachers would have been lazy assholes. No, I honestly don't. But I can't give you hot makeouts either, which is probably what you're doing anyway. You don't have to justify it. Have fun with it. Yeah. See? Just like I said, lazy. Nobody wants anything that way, they just get more confused. Method. I'll try, but really, I do just want to spend some time with him. It's not about that at all. I really do just want the company. Really, really. Uh, but thanks for covering for me. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Anyway, I'm going to head over now. I'll talk to you in the morning. Alright, I'm sure we get another one of her just wanted to have the last word. KK! Damn my standards. Well, so much work. Not I already know who that is before I open the door. I guess we got company. We got a knock. Told me. I let her into my tiny bed. <coughs> my tiny body into my tiny apartment into the tiny bed? I'm so sorry you don't mind if I come in. Yes, yes, yes. I definitely mind. This is entirely too much. But what am I going to turn her away? She doesn't look like she's okay. I don't think it would be good for her if I turned her away just because I was uncomfortable. Her. I glanced back at my bed, desperately trying to not let my imagination go where it obviously wants to go. Oh, it wants to go there. I have to focus here. Into the gutter. Just because there's a girl in my apartment doesn't mean I have to fuck her. It doesn't mean I want to. She probably just wants some company. I, you know, I can do that. He, he definitely wants, wants to. He wants it. Sure. We agree. Come on in. But while I'm reminding myself to keep it in my pants, another thought comes to mind. A far worse one. <laughs> do your parents know where you are? He's going for the rape right murder. What? No! <laughs> no, well, not at all. <laughs> Combo. Of He's going to fuck her killer and leave her. <laughs> <laughs> yes! That's how it's done, by the way. <laughs> uh, in the small Midwestern town. <coughs> Fuck you, till if we... If I started uh, murdering people, there'd be none of you left. <laughs> Thank you, Charlie. I know we have to be discreet. I would never do anything to jeopardize your job. I'm good at keeping secrets. I told my parents I was a tailor, so that's what I always do when I go out late, and it's fun. She'll cover for me if need be. I'm glad to get her shit done. I'm sorry. Of course, I trust you completely. I doubt that. Oh, hey, I call it. Call lies. it. Bunch of lies. Mm. Offsides. <laughs> Offsides. <laughs> really? Really? Oh, wow, man. Really? Joke. I make really, a really, really, really joke. I make a fucking joke, and the game doesn't. Fall. I would never tell. No matter what happens, I'll never, never talk ever. about it. No way. Ever have. If you don't want me to, if no you, if you matter do, yeah. what. Yeah, if you want me to talk about it, I'll, I'll talk all my friends. I'll paint the town with this shit. Exactly. No matter what. 16-year-old girl, I have a Facebook connection. Okay. I believe you. Really. Really. I just wasn't really expecting company. Really? I kind of had my computer booted up here. Uh, I was kind of surfing the internet for some, uh, monitor here. <laughs> it's just that I feel so hungry. I just, that's what I do. I didn't think it would be so hard with this. It was certainly hard, for sure. Mm -hmm. This must be hitting her really badly. I reach out and hug her tiny, fragile little self tightly. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Ariana. Of course. Stay around as long as you want. I'll definitely be here for you. Really? <laughs> thank you, Mr. Ruffin. Really, Mr. Ruffin, thank you. I let go of her and smile. It's just, uh, we're the ones settling for her to call me Mr. Wilk. Such an intimate, intimate setting. Like, I need another reminder of the power disparity here. Which is immense, by the way. Massive. Uh, of course, John. And you can call me Ari, if you want. Because that sounds like fairy. That's cute. I bet this guy is, like, definitely old enough to have a daughter that could have been 16 by this point. Yes, you would have to have a weird 24. Okay. There's a long silence. It's just not the same without her around, is it? Well, no, no wait. He was born in 2012, right? Mr. John Ruffles. No, no. It's oh, no, no, no. The, no, the high like fucking 17. You're right, you're right. The high schoolers were born in 2012. <laughs> His students were 2012 babies. Yeah, we're older than the teacher. Yeah. Well, at least I am. Uh, that may not be. I may not be. It's close. 
I have friends, but well, they're not there. I could always talk to them, you know? Now I'm so lonely. No, it's just Ariana. <laughs> it must have been a big surprise. Well, not really. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you bought this for far too long, in fact, we called it. In fact, Oh my god! Wow. It totally called it. I am the fucking prodigy. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, it's just, I was just thinking, since I don't have any homework, uh, you know, tonight would be great for just hanging out with a spell, watching TV, but... Uh, this shit writes itself. I know it's not going to be the one just because she's gone, but I really just miss her. She's a great friend, and I miss her so much. I hug her again, and kiss her gently on the forehead. Small comfort. I can't even imagine what it's like for her. Small comfort. <laughs> That. I'm so sorry, I wish I knew what to say. Well, if it's alright with you, could I just hang around with you for the evening? I realize I should completely abandon him over the game one time tonight, but you're gonna give her a little bit of small comfort. I'm gonna try to. What am I gonna do? Say no to her? How often would it be if I wasn't here for her? I'd rather have a seat then. What do you want to do? You uh, said you wanted to just watch TV? She sits right down on the edge of my bed, dangling her legs. <laughs> She wants it. She wants the, the visual. The visual. The visual. Looking back up again. Like the the facial expression. Sure. sure. You chose. You choose. It doesn't really matter what. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's happening. Oh damn. All right. Well, that's that's gotta be a new desktop. Let me uh, just go ahead and give myself a minute to adjust that here. All right, so, uh, desktop complete. Yay, yay, yay. Just an excuse to do absolutely nothing. I, think I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I tried to focus my mind on innocent <laughs> thoughts, despite the unfortunate seating. I'm not... There's nothing unfortunate about that. She's, like, <laughs> hard gripping his thigh here. Yeah, right she there. wants it. Her other hand is... I don't... This is, like, a really... His right hand is, like, hovering over the pussy right now. It's like right on there. Like, it's got some kind of force power is about to activate over that. And he's got the shirt button. Oh, yeah. So she has the strap and stress on his yeah. oh, shirt. You know what's making a nipple? Almost. Almost. I'm not going to have sex with her. I tell myself. Even as she sits right against me, clinging in my arm. I stroke her hair as she weakly holds on to me. Eventually, she seems to come down. We're not going to do anything improper, I tell myself. Even as I want to give my love bites. <laughs> love bites. <laughs> Her mouth is soft and warm, and it'd be so easy to just, just let put it go. in. He wants it. He's trying to soft get it in. Warm. <laughs> to just ignore myself. Sixteen year old in the Take her right now. Every time <laughs> she sucks on my neck just a little hard, I groan a bit. Just too hard. Which is kind of dumb because you grow and say like, okay, I'm not gonna do that. You just did it. I think small comfort is getting a little bit too hard right now. Yeah, it may not be small anymore. It may be quite. It may be large comfort. It may be large comfort. Be large comfort. <laughs> it might even be Ray comfort. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That's a whole nother level of comfort. That Ray is, comfort is pretty fucking hard. Sun. I gotta God. say, dude. he goes hard. He he is hard for Jesus. He yep. is hard He's for Jesus. Ragingly hard. If there were a way to love games in Christian religion, then you'd make comfort in games. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, with the banana, dude. Well, that's just a toy. Yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, that's why he loves it. It fits in the hand so nicely. Yeah, it fits in the hand so nicely. It's so hard to lose a grip. It fits right in the mouth perfectly, it's dude. It's the right? work of God. And it's even curved, so it's a lot of access down the throat. Like, Indeed. <laughs> he loves deep, the banana. Deep into the throat. <laughs> I won't do anything to her. I tell myself, even as I help her sit on my lap. What? Okay. Who needs help sitting on a lap? Yeah. I've been doing that since I was like, two. <laughs> as soon as I can sit up, I can sit on my lap. I was here to give you a hand sometimes. Like that. All right. <laughs> hey, Wardle. Uh, so sorry about that, guys. Uh, Justin Fucker decided to go do some, uh, slave labor. Yeah. 
the uh, free of charge. Slightly later. For the landlord. So, uh, back to Hooray, the landlord. Uh, even when she gave us a minor mouse and clearly amused by my interest, I can tell, I tell myself I won't. She's amused by her interest. She giggles at my arousal, so it's definitely small comfort and yeah. not big comfort. Yeah. It's not hard comfort, nor is it ray comfort, it's just small comfort. Which is like, well, you know, that's what he said. It was, it was, he was accurate. <laughs> all I do is kiss her ear and rub her shoulders. So all you do is just this ambus? Again, I'm sorry, I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna stop correcting the grammar. Here. Canadian. She moans softly, expressing her love. And I know she can feel my dick pressing. <laughs> <laughs> that expressing mine, your, your expression of pleasure, other than the groans. It has to be small comfort then. <laughs> yeah. But that's all. But that's all. All I do is let the kid know that she's not alone. It and then I hear her. It's, it's important to remember yeah. that she is a kid and he is pressing his dick against her. She is a child. Yeah. And, he's, and he is twice divorced, soon to be fired from his job. <laughs> Possibly about to be in prison. <laughs> yeah, really, let's be real. For rape. Statutory rape. Still rape. Uh, it's a technicality, but it's still rape. Technically rape. rape. Yeah. Just what like a, what is rape? Uh, uh, it's a verb. Okay. Yeah, or a noun. It's a verb. Is it a noun? It can be a noun. How can it be a noun? There was a rape. But that is not a verb. Is it a? It's a noun. Is it a noun? You mean it's a thing? It was an event. Though. Is an event a thing? Yes. Yeah, an event. Uh, like a parade or a concert. Not verbs. I like I I I, I Great as an event. Like on, like you are attending the rape on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> like the status. <laughs> yep. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> to see a notification on Amy in this game saying rape party night at my house. Taylor. Taylor. Yeah, trying to get <laughs> raped by every guy yep. in the class and the teacher. Mm-hmm. Going for the gangbang. Yeah. Who's down. The fuck. <laughs> DTF is what they would say. Yep. In the end, I give her a goodbye kiss. <coughs> you give her a goodbye kiss in the end of, like, her... Uh, in the he baited the whole time. Yeah. The whole time. He did. Well, he, he was, was trying hard. Beta. He was trying ultra hard. Beta. Beta. <laughs> and she leaves to return home before midnight. Neck beard, baby. You know what, man? If it makes you happy, it makes you happy. With a smile on her face. Being a beta. The next... Is she still wearing a smile the next day? Oh, Yeah. Three notifications. And the rain, it raineth. At least this time, I brought my umbrella with me. I'm not going to make that mistake twice. That. That. That mistake. I ain't gonna make that mistake twice. Ain't nobody got time for nah, that. Nah, sir. Okay, so spill it, Beans. How did it go? Did you end up staying the whole night? No. No, I ended up home before midnight, actually. Nothing really happened. I just sat on his lap. I mean, actually sat on his lap, not in the dirty way. And uh, we watched TV together. It was really sweet, though. He definitely made me feel a lot better about things. What <laughs> the fuck, seriously? You, like, some dick. you went to visit your hot boyfriend because you were feeling lonely. And you did stay the night. Oh, Bitch. and you didn't stay the night. Nothing happened? Are you telling me that you didn't even suck his cock or anything? Uh, isn't the whole point of that kind of visit? When I was just in caring for you. Eh, <laughs> my name is Taylor Gibson and I suck dicks. Cocks, actually. Suck cocks. Yeah, sucks pococks. cocks. Sucks cocks. Sucks pococks. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Don't worry about getting that one. That's over everyone's head. <laughs> Anyone's, but the, the, yeah, people, the, three the, people, us. the people who will get that will not think it's funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not at all, except us. Yeah, well, fuck them. All I can do is sit at my desk quietly and wait for everyone to come. <laughs> 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 well said, Mr. Brook. Well said. Ah, <laughs> uh, sucks cocks. Yep. Good morning, Mr. Brook. Good morning, Charlotte. You'll be happy to hear that this time I did actually remember my umbrella. Ah, the minutia of spite. <laughs> <laughs> Good work. <laughs> she knows it. She picks up on it. Really isn't very pleasant weather, though. I'm glad all we're doing today is watching movies. 
Because I'm a lazy piece of shit and didn't decide to teach anything. Is that this other dude fucking half dick riding on my girlfriend last night? Is he doing work? <laughs> yeah, my teenage girlfriend. Who is my student? Wait, you can't have it. In this case, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Well, I haven't seen any eating of cake in this yet. I've only seen him have his cake. He hasn't eaten it yet. Well, it's just a matter of time. Well, Until he eats well. that crab cake. That fish pie? Mm hmm Weather like this really wears down your spirits, doesn't it? Well, we'll weather the weather whether you're prepared or not. Yeah, I think that's it exactly. Behind her, the rest of the class slowly starts to trudge in. <coughs> Apparently, nobody else is confused about the weather either. The fucking weather. This is the, this is the game we're playing right now. Weather, the game. The game is discussing the weather. Junior meteorologist. Gossip. Yeah. Oh my god, I wish. No, sadly, I haven't ever gotten the chance to go down with him even once yet. <laughs> I, uh, I think he's the kind of guy who takes things really slowly. Maybe I get a chance to next time, though. Slash face. <laughs> okay, here's why. I want I to I I wanna point this out. They both, uh, on occasion, have poor spelling, um, poor grammar. Like, clearly lazy, and then takes the time to italicize. Yeah, how do you italicize? Takes the time to italicize certain words for them. Maybe it's really easy to italicize in the future. Maybe it's like speech recognition? Perhaps. Maybe. But anyway, even if he is a real tease, it actually it was actually really helpful. I was really glad to just spend the time with him at all. Honestly. I was really more starved for someone who would keep me company than anything else, so I can't really complain too much. Really, it was worth it. I'm feeling a lot better now. Well, you know what, Ariana? I'm rooting for you. I'm not. Well, fuck you, man. You have no fighting spirit. I'm rooting for John Rook. I'm rooting for everybody. Except for Taylor. Yeah, no, Taylor just wants to die. Sorry, this is bad. I know it's fine. I'm not in a hurry to go out and have anything. I was just checking. I wanted to chat with Charlotte. We were talking about yesterday. No, it's not going to fuck him. Why? I always check our, uh, talking about talking at the school. Check the animations as long as you enjoy yourself then. I'm being stupid and rejecting anyway. You're in love, of course. You don't really mind if you have to wait a little longer. That's how we're supposed to go. Really, oh, well, I'm just embarrassed of being really good. Well, I'm not getting any cops in the middle of it. Now that's like you're probably getting this instead. It's so unfair. I shouldn't project how I realize I'm not all about that. Thank you, Taylor. What a gay fag who likes penis. Yeah. That's what he is. <clears throat> LOL, look at Mr. Rook's neck. <laughs> Lol. Someone must have had fun last night. Lol, what? Wait, what the fuck? I see it now. You're right. Shock Ooh. face. Google the eyes. Look at Mr. Rook's neck. Meet me in my office. Not evident on the other side, by the way. Not really. Not incredibly. Meet me in my office. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Of course. of course! It's going to be about what we talked about yesterday. Who is she getting? <laughs> 3 55 here! And as always, most common time card in the game. Let's go. Doesn't yeah. matter. That's it for the day. Well, as far as classes go, anyway. Bow. Time to check 12 channel. I think you may be right. Yeah. We'll get the messages and we'll go check It's them usually the about channel. this time we check 12 channel at work. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That must be a really unpleasant thought. Oh, <laughs> MG, you have no idea. You have no idea. Ugh, so gross. So jealous. I'm so repulsed, but I'm obsessed. Well, no, what it is is she's grossed out by the fact that her ex-boyfriend is gay and mm -hmm. wants him back. So she's jealous of the boyfriend, but not jealous of the relationship, except in, like, a very broad sense. Like, I want a relationship with him, not a gay relationship with him, because that wouldn't be possible because there are different genders. But it's gross. Right, it's gross because he's having a, ha a homosexual relationship. Well, then she's a bitch. Well, yes, obviously we know that. Yes. I guess we did know that. Wow. Also, oh my, wow. Wow. <laughs> um, thinks the actor in this movie is so cute. I think you're yeah, cute. You're spelled wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is actually. Fuck him. Yeah. Um, the asterisk, angle bracket, period, angle bracket, asterisk. They, what is they that? do a good, a great job of displaying the idiocy of high school kids. Oh yeah, that they do. They, well, this they, is how, how, often, how often have you seen the "your" spelled wrong? Like every day of my life. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because people don't understand your. It's your. still pouring rain out. It's not surprising for this time of year, but still a dreary way to end the day, to be sure. And now twelve channel because I almost forgot. All right. Nailed it. New. 
called it. I'm sick of people here talking about 3D girls like they're anything but absolutely worthless. 2D girls and every 2D girls will break up with you because they're being messy. 2D girls are only talking about bitching bad things. 2D girls that lead you on and after a total fucking bruise when you get serious. 2D girls that make you buy them things constantly. 2D girls that ignore you while bitching about how they can never find nice guys. 2D virgin girls actually said 2D girls are there for your comfort, not demanding attention. 2D girls only expect every man to be out like some type of romantic comedy. Do you know this? So don't say, but you can touch 3D girls like you want to touch that big stuff. That big stuff. Yes, we definitely care about your wave-ass copy pasta. I'm really glad you saved this and posted it again because it's the first time we've ever seen it and it's not like it's some pathetic virgin fag bullshit that really shows your inability to be a proper functioning human being or anything. He is disappointed. Agreed. Excuse me, such this bullshit. Local story, bro. Oh shit, now that is a real man. Who's that in the reaction? Well, what? what? That's Humpy motherfucking Bogart, son. He you was on badass motherfucker. And like this pussy OP, he did romantic comedies and didn't afraid of anything. Motherfucker. He Mother didn't afraid. Fucker. He didn't afraid of anything. This thread is now about Humpy Bogart's man's way. Maybe please review that. <laughs> this one. Fuck romantic comics. I'm a lesbian. Nobody makes them for me. What's the goddamn point? The goddamn point is that you're too dumb to understand a relationship that doesn't directly relate to your own life. Tits or get the fuck out, girl Bitch. on the internet. So am I. God, you don't have to want to fuck the guy just to enjoy a cute story. Thank you. You're gonna deny the hotness of Aubrey Hepburn just to make the big dyke statement for reals? Clearly. Thank you. Get the fuck out. And I'm not going to deny the hotness of Aubrey Hepburn. I'd be good because you're See, he knows the score. If he does, well, well, real talk. Uh, real talk. True story. It's just silly escapism. We'll go back. Clever or not. Copy pasta. Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh. Never know. Thank you, Golf Chan, for that. Stupid, delightfully insightful input. It actually was pretty damn insightful, though. Let's be oh, honest. yeah, I got it once. As far as writing to the game, that was pretty insightful. Indeed. However, in a different context, outside of looking deep into the posts of 12chan to the wake of the game, all of this is completely worthless. Yep. Everything yep. about this is worthless. Mm -hmm. Yep. As in, without worth. Mm hmm. <laughs> Dream way in the day. Charlotte's probably on her way to my office. Well, that's no dawdling for me. Time to go. Yep, you've waited a long time. Doddle. Hi, Mr. Rook. Hi, Charlotte. Why don't you have a seat? And we'll talk about what you were having trouble with. She says no. Thanks. Thanks. It's about her, of course. Is it? Yes, now. Yeah. I kind of figured as much. It's just, you know... Er, I know you said you thought I should try approaching her, but I keep worrying if I'm not better off just being friends anyway. There was always a lot of tension, you know. I know what that's like. Was it worth it? Maybe. I don't know. Understand, the last time we were together, my academics did sort of suffer. I actually failed an exam last year. <sighs> You? Really? Sorry, I don't want to be mean. It's just shocking. That's why I worry! My parents were not thrilled about that. And she was always pressuring me into, well, you know how she is, right? So sex. She's pressuring me into sex, clearly. <laughs> she wanted me to be more carefree like her. And I do really like that about her, but... She trails off, and I'm not sure what she was going to say. But what? But, I don't know. I mean, it's fun, but she definitely brings out someone else in me. Is that a bad thing? There's a very long pause. Can <laughs> <laughs> I get a stick right here? Alright, long pause. Yeah, it's any more. Let's pause! pause. Yep, we're not pausing though, we're just gonna we have to wait for the pause. Is there any more pause? No. 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 Alright. Oh, oh, oh. being passed without my ass. Alright. Smoking the LMs today. Turkish blend. Not a bad stick. Rapid. 
little bit quick burning, but not bad. Fuck quick a filter. Thing. Ripping that filter off. Alright, man. Long pause. Apparently unsure of herself. She always said she liked me better when I did. And he's a person I do very much respect the opinion of. That's the best answer I can give. What do you think that means? I don't know. Love is complicated. Yeah! Tell me about it! There's another long silence. And neither of us really have anything to add to that. It's not awkward, it's just... What is there to say? The worry doesn't leave her face, and I can tell she's not happy that there aren't any answers. But, I mean, what the hell do I know about high school lesbian drama? I don't even get normal women at all! This is just past me. As implying that lesbians aren't normal women. You aren't. They don't have sex in the missionary position for the sole purpose of procreation. <laughs> That's right. You're right. They don't. That is normal, because normal is what is assigned. You know what? They're probably, uh, going back to my comments earlier, probably all communist. They are. They're probably yes. all communist. They must be. They're yeah. normal for them. But oh, yeah. Yeah. The majority John is, is coming in from the outside. He's coming yes. in from a democratic place into communist uh, Canada. Canada. Yes. <laughs> and uh, having a Canada. tough time adjusting. Freedom fries. Freedom toast. Freedom fries. <laughs> you ever eat some freedom fries? Freedom bread. Do you, did yeah. you ever eat Freedom Fries? Oh, yeah, definitely. No. It's cool. They served it at public school. And, uh, I never bought school lunch. You never bought a school lunch? I did, but not until high school. The French school. fries with the, with the American flag toothpick in it? Mm. Freedom Fries. Yeah. I remember seeing those, actually. Yeah. It oh. was a real thing after 2011, or yeah. 2001, 9-11. Uh-huh. Fuck the French, we said. Yeah, we Their said. fries are delicious, but... <laughs> You know, they're French. So we're not going to stop eating them, but we have to call them something different now because, God forbid, we support a country that is French. Yeah, we embargoed yeah. the entire yeah. idea of France. Uh -huh. so, um, Still to this day. When are we going to yeah. do away with Canadian bacon? Well, so far, French Canadian bacon is done away with, but yeah, yeah, English yeah. Canadian bacon can be still eaten. Yeah. Is that for health reasons, or is it just a nomenclature problem? Well, what, when are we going to get rid of the, the name Canadian bacon? We, we should rename it American bacon. Well, it's not American bacon. Well, hey, now, come on. There was a we should take it over, like we have done in the past with every other hey, motherfucker. Hey, Canadian bacon, bacon. bacon. America. America. Just hey, ham. hey, you know what's a great American thing? What? Canadian bacon. The John Candy movie. Ah. You know what else is a great American thing? What? Plain trains and automobiles. The John Candy movie. True. Yeah. yeah. Uncle Buck. Yeah, Uncle Buck was good. Black and Uh-huh. All right, we... Yeah. Yeah. If she were having boy troubles, I could offer something for experience. Blue streak. What the fuck experience do I have with... <laughs> with someone like Kendall? But there has to be something I can say. I can't just let her go without helping. That'd just be me. If it worked out bad, it'd be completely useless. Like normal. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, Sean. God, I wish, I wish that this, that you could see her face when you read that. It's I know. <laughs> Just I, the most sarcastic look. I, 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 oh, I'm oh, fuck this. This is a terrible This entire thing, fuck it. I don't really I don't understand your situation at all. They can't see the air jerk. I don't place. care, I'm doing anyway. <laughs> your relationship with her, it's completely out of my experience. <laughs> hey. All I can say is, we gotta push her. Definitely bottom. Power yeah, bottom. Push it to the limit. Power bottom. Because we, push it to the we chose the top for Kendall. We gotta choose the bottom for sure. Oh yeah. Right? That's how the logic works. We're doing it. I don't care what you say, uh, Justin. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. <clears throat> I think you I think you think you'll be better off with her. Yep. That's the like, yeah. Yeah, obvious. Yeah. Yeah. But if you truly do respect her opinion so much, if you do really love her, and like how she makes you act. Then, clearly. Then, well, maybe you should try asking yourself what she would encourage you to do. <laughs> She's Great job, fan. Shatner. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about it with a blank expression upon her face. Evaluating what I've just said. I hope it's not crazy. I really hope that was reasonable. I suppose that's the question, isn't it? I think I do. But... Well, quite right, so... I don't have long pause. 
Even if I'm sometimes uncomfortable with her, it's always been worth it in the end. Always. She just takes it better. What do you think you'll do then? Well, I'm still scared to act. I don't want to come to... Come to... Come... But I don't want to come to her. <laughs> and try to get from this trip. And try to get back together when I was the one who screwed things up. <clears throat> well, then what can I say? I mean, I know what Kendall Roy wants, but I can't explain why I know that. What should I say? Trust, trust me. Trust she me. Trust me. Trust option. me. Trust yeah. me. Yeah. Trust me, Charlotte. She would definitely want you to take action. I don't give a damn. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> and I just hope she doesn't ask why I'm sure. Why are you sure? Another long pause. Uh, let's pause. Yep. You're right, of course. I'm being silly. Billy. Of course she would. That much has always been clear about her. She, she'd want me to be bold. She'd want me to let my hair down and ask her even if I was terrified, and I am, but she stands up. I have no idea what I'm going to bring myself to doing this, but you're absolutely right. That's what I should do. I should be bold and just ask her. I'll do it right now. Wow. Okay. Wow. John said it. Wow, bro. Wow. It's what she'd want me to do, and I think that's right, because what she wants you to do is right. Absolutely. Thank you for your help, Mr. Rook. I really appreciate that. I don't think I would have made the right decision without your help. Really? But it's so obvious. Thank you. Avo. <laughs> well, good luck, Charlotte. Thank you, Mr. Rook. <coughs> As I watch her leave, I can only wonder one thing. Did I do the right thing? I think I did. I hope I did. Next morning. morning. That new teacher is to smacks. Yeah. <laughs> Fourteen. Bone that shit. Chicken bone that shit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You would not believe what just happened. Well, what? Charlotte oh just came by in the pouring rain and fucking true story, bro. bro. She shouted at me up to my window saying she still loved me. Um, I asked her for you to forgive me, standing in the rain. It was literally the most romantic thing I've seen in my life. I'm still in shock. Um, she is so amazing, I can't believe it. You're making that up. No way. Lol, I am not. This is totally for, for real. real. It was the most amazing thing. I am so in love with her. So in love. Um, still can't believe that happened. Congratulations, bro. That's awesome. I know! Hearts. Hearts, 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 hearts. Oh, here we go. Hey, are you at home right now? If so, can I ask you a favor? Yeah, of course. What is it? Could you open your bedroom window, please? Okay. Why? Heart, heart, heart. Um, just free. I am so <laughs> madly in love with you. You are the coolest girl in the world. I do not deserve you. Ew, you so much. Blah, blah, blah. Happy, happy, happy. Updated relationship status. Take it! Not very single, but take it. Lolly ticks. Yeah. Interested in girls. Lollies, apparently. Well, which is cake. <laughs> Charlotte has updated her relationship. Madly in love with Kendall Flower. Madly. Is that. I wonder if she's wearing a shirt under that book. I wonder if she's going for, like, the sexy nerd. <laughs> like, profile picture. Oh, yeah. And then she's just covering her breasts with a book. Yep. With the glasses. You know that's what it is. Yep. The Let's glasses get, down by the nose. Just sweating my uh, hair down a little bit. To mm. I'm just slipping into something more comfortable. This uh, dictionary. <laughs> Thankfully, the weather is much nicer this morning. The sun is shining, the air is crisp, and it's hard to feel too terrible. Which is good, because I've got my work cut out for me today with this lecture. The class slowly files in like it was just any other day. Except with one notable exception. Isabella is still gone. Yeah, <laughs> Isabella did kill herself. Mr. Roy! So, so. I've never seen Kendall so excited. Yeah, it really is. Although I'm sure I can guess why. Uh, anyway, uh, we all are really hungry, so we're gonna go do a quick little food run. You won't notice the difference. We'll be back in a minute. And we're back. I've got myself some MMs. These other guys have got themselves some various things, like a hot pocket kind of thing, and yeah. a burrito or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wish. Anyway, 
Never seen Kendall so excited. I'm sure I can guess why. Charlotte told me all about how you encouraged her last evening, and I just need to say, sir, you are a true bro. For real, you are the bro is the bro, sir. Bro is the bro. T dash Y exclamation point T dash Y so damn much. Uh, you well, I you I just helped her figure out her feelings, that's all. <laughs> oh, well, T Y all the same. You're a true bro, Mr. Bro. True bro. Kendall. Bro bro. See our messages. Bro bro. Congrats, bro. Yeah, congrats, you two made a great couple. Bro bro. Uh, and connect. Did you two get back together? It's about time. It's about, it's about fucking time. time. <clears throat> Kendall! Hey, Charlotte. Well, that was the strangest thing I've ever been told. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm glad they both seemed happy. Mm -hmm. End, End of chapter, chapter four. four. Alrighty, well. End yep. of chapter four. That was an interesting chapter. That was a good chapter. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, we'll be back for five. Yep, we'll be back for five at some point. Uh, Don't know when. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it won't matter won't to you. It's just going to be sequential for you, so it'll be yeah. 30 seconds. All whatever. proceeds made from this video are going to the Ray Comfort Foundation. Yeah, so everyone knows. <laughs> if you like Ray Comfort, donate money to us. Uh -huh. Yeah, we'll give it to him for, we, for sure. We, <laughs> we promise. We'll send it right over to his organization with a very strongly worded happy note. Uh, explaining how much we love him and the good work he does for the Lord. Yeah. And for us and for all of humankind in general. Yeah, and, he's uh, a blessing. That we mm -hmm. didn't come from no monkeys. No. No, we did not. Mm -mm. No, sir. No, All right. ma'am. Anyway, thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for putting up with us. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, you know, link it's us, so share good. us on Facebook, subscribe it's, to us on Twitter. That is uh, we don't even have Twitter. But absolutely make, not going to happen. Make a fan <laughs> a account. single person. You make a fan account for us on Twitter. I would be shocked if this gets one view. And then uh, subscribe to that account you made, and then proliferate it uh, endlessly. Again, if you've made it to this point, I think that hats you... Hats off to you. Well, hats off to you, but you really should seriously reconsider the choices you're making in life. Really. <laughs> Really. Because it's hard to be this awesome, and you have to really commit to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we're, uh, we are committed, which is why we're here doing this for you, but not everyone can walk that path. So, I mean, we don't mean to be off-putting. If you're able to do it, you're able to do it, but just be careful, all right? Because it's tough to be a fucker. We Literally work. anything could be more productive. Let's just say yeah. that. <clears throat> yeah. Our time is, is might as well have been wasted, but whatever. No, no, I'll take it back. You could be less productive if you were watching someone else play this game that wasn't us. Uh, I guess so. Yeah. That'd be less productive, but nonetheless. Because <laughs> at the very least, you're getting three voices right now. Most Let's Plays are a single dude. So. Yeah, and they're pretty... <coughs> Who's not going to say they're pretty bad, but... Well, they sound like dudes, so that's good enough for the internet. Yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. Anyway, I'll work on a rant.